Hi guys and welcome to this new video about the metaverse. This one is going to be much shorter and more hands-on because I'm going to present you one of my favorite metaverse projects at the moment. It's called Ready Player Me and it enables you to create your own avatar or digital identity before entering the metaverse. Once the avatar is created, you can later on use it for different experiences and applications either web-based or in VR. It's a very different approach when you compare it to most of the games in which avatar creation only work for the game you're playing. If you take The Sims, for example, you will be able to create and customize your avatar, but you will only be able to use that look inside The Sims. Here, with Ready Player Me, you can create and customize one or several looks and then connect Ready Player Me to other applications. And the list of applications that are currently Ready Player Me compatible is already quite long. In short, see Ready Player Me as a digital identity manager. It is also blockchain compatible, meaning that if you own digital wearables in the form of NFTs on your MetaMask wallet, for instance, you will be able to connect Ready Player Me to MetaMask and import your wearables so that your avatars can wear it. They are also providing a pretty extensive software development toolkits for games and experienced developers in the metaverse. These toolkits can be imported into Unity or Unreal Engines to make sure that avatars created in Ready Player Me can later be used inside their games. So that's all for the introduction. Now let's see how Ready Player Me looks like. All right, so here we are on Ready Player Me webpage. I'll copy the link into the video description so that you can access it easily. It's very easy to create your avatar from that page. You just have to click Enter Hub and they will guide you through the creation of your first avatar. So you have the possibility to upload a selfie or take a photo of your face directly from the webcam so that the avatar already looks a bit like you from the beginning. Of course, you don't have to do that. You can continue without a photo, but I prepared a quick selfie to do that quickly. There we are. It should be loading my picture and creating a first avatar draft from it. And it's usually quite fast. There we are. So, so that's my first avatar created by Ready Player Me. And if you are familiar with The Sims or any RPG game where you get to customize your look, uh, all of this will sound really familiar. You can play with your hair, your face, your eyes, and of course, change your clothes. You have a wardrobe there that is pretty well furnished. As you can see, there are quite a lot of different looks. So I'm gonna accelerate and customize a bit my avatar and I will let you do the same and I will catch up with you right after that. All right, so I customized a little my look and I would like to show you that as you can see, there is the MetaMask icon here. And if you click there, uh, it will ask you to connect to your MetaMask wallet. And if you do have some compatible NFTs in your MetaMask wallet, which is not my case, but these NFTs are typically wearables like a watch or a hat or something else, you will be able to upload it here and use it to customize the look of your avatar. So that, that's a pretty cool functionality for the people that are collecting NFTs. So now that we are done, you can enter the hub, it will create the avatar and you will be able to see it in your Ready Player Me account. There we are, we are on the, on the account. You can see that my avatar is there and actually you can own several avatars by clicking here, my avatars, you can create a new one, delete, edit that one. And that's very useful if you need to have several looks uh, depending on what you wanna do in the metaverse. Uh, you could have a very formal look uh, if you wanna do business and, and meet up with colleagues to collaborate in the virtual world and a funnier look to meet up with your friends and play video games in the metaverse. So that's a very versatile tool and you can collect as many look as you want. Another cool feature is the fact that you can download the 3D object corresponding to that avatar 
And if by any chance you are a bit of a 3D designer, for example, you're using Blender software, you will be able to import directly your 3D shape from your avatar in Blender. As you can see here, I think it's that one. And there it is. So as you can see, your avatar is already created as a 3D model. I think it's rendered. Yes, it is. So that's really cool. You have all the colors and everything. And you can use it as an asset for any 3D development you're working on. So we did manage to create a pretty nice avatar in a timely manner. But the question now is, where would you use this avatar? And by clicking in Discover Apps here, you will have the full list of applications that are already compatible with Ready Player Me. There are many different types of applications. The list is already quite long. Some are games, some are about business and productivity, education, music, because you can go to concerts with your avatar social life, some are web-based, some are for VR platforms. And I will not go through everything with you right now because I want it to be the topic of a future video. I really want to explore the different applications that we can test with these Ready Player Me avatars. So for now, you can just check it by yourself. As a side comment, you can see that some applications are NFT compatible and some are not. And you can check which one are not with the little purple lines here, not NFT compatible. And finally, you also have the list of all the coming soon applications. And I really like to see that there is a lot of development going on and we should see more and more games and metaverse application getting Ready Player Me compatible in the near future. I hope you enjoyed this little demo. I really believe that the creation of your avatar or digital identity is a crucial first step into the metaverse. Ready Player Me is really trying to work as a door to enter the metaverse and a hub where you can see all the different applications that you will be able to visit with your avatar. If you've watched the Matrix movies, I really see that as the white space that Neo enters before getting in the matrix. That's where he chooses how he wants to look like, the weapons that he will need and so on. That's pretty much the same thing that Ready Player Me is developing here. And I think that's really cool. In a future video, I will try to test out some of the applications in which I can use my Ready Player Me avatar. So that's going to be a kind of discovery phase of the metaverse. And I really hope you will enjoy that journey with me. If you like the content, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And I'll see you later for another metaverse exploration. Bye guys.